It is cool, and you know, it's something we take for granted, but then, you know, when we see that and I look over in the huddle and Zach's there, it's kind of crazy. Um, and, you know, we will, I, I watch film, we'll both kind of like have a, have a key block on a run, and I think, that, I think that is cool. But I'm not really looking, you know, sometimes I get asked stuff after the game, like, do you see that block? I was like, you know, if I saw Zach's block, then I wouldn't have been doing my job, you know, I don't want to be watching other guys block, but it, it, it is neat, it's really neat. Did you guys be ever critique you? No, uh, I mean sometimes he'll he'll give he'll give me crap, but he doesn't really critique me. But Kobe, I mean Kobe's a little competitive son of a gun. But he, you know, he he fights with Zach and I. We go back home. It's the most competitive atmosphere ever. I mean we're always going at who's better at what. I mean the little the minor the most minor stuff. You know we're we're fighting about. You mentioned the Appalachian State loss when you're Michigan. Does do any of your current teammates give you a hard time about that? Has that ever been discussed? I don't think you know, I don't think they give me a hard time because it can happen any week. You know it's like. <laughs> It seems like every year there's a couple of those games. So, I mean, when I first got here, you know, some guys asked about it. You know, it's definitely an interesting topic, but, you know, it's a real issue. I mean, it can happen any week. Just how low is Virginia Tech then this week, do you think? I mean, coming off something like that. I mean, how, explain how I mean, it, it's It's tough. I remember after we lost that game, I, it really did seek, sink in after the game. It was like another, you know, it's like a loss. Like, it sucks. And then we walk in the practice facility, and there's about 100 reporters just lined up in front. I remember. I was, as I was driving this to the practice facility at Passon Stadium, you know, ESPN's filming out in front of our stadium, and I kind of just looked down and like, dang, like, you know, that's when it really sunk in. Yeah. Like, you know, we lost a Division One AA team. Like, there, it's pretty crazy. There was a disaster that just happened, and they were there to cover it. I mean, I mean you know, it, it, the thing about it was, is it wasn't, I mean, did we play to our potential that day? No, but they were a good team. I mean, yeah. people, you know, people think that these teams are so much different. They're really not. I mean, they're all very capable teams. The Appalachian State was a good team. I mean, people look at it like, dang, Michigan must be terrible. You know, it's not like that. Hey, uh, you know, do y'all, like on Sunday, do y'all sit and watch everyone watch the game tape together? And I mean, here and, and I'm, I'm getting to the kickoff return stuff or the punt return. Do, do people get, how, how, how do the coaches handle that from the standpoint of pointing stuff out and kind of getting on guys? You know what I mean? Uh, how, we how does that work? The, the specialists, everyone that's on special teams besides the quarterbacks and uh, offensive line watch all the specialties together. And then we all go in position groups um, and watch the film together. And then we come together as an offensive defensive unit, kind of discuss everything and go over mm -hmm. our next week component. And so what was what was the emphasis from what you heard, what you picked up on, you know, just around teammates and stuff about getting those things shored up? I mean, what was... I mean, I think everyone realizes what we need to do. You know, everyone realizes the mistakes, and it's usually it's usually nothing that difficult, especially with with kickoff and and with special teams. It's usually just one or two guys that are out of position, and it's it's you know, it, I don't think it'll be a big deal this week. Did Did you take any solace from watching Johnny Jones got blocked the blocked the field goal against the? Oh, uh, the other night. No, I mean, I I heard, I mean, I heard about it. He's, I mean, he's, he's good. He knows how to yeah. get in there, man. I'll tell you what. That's, I mean, <laughs> that's you know, I'm just glad that Marshall game that it wasn't something that changed the game. You know. But, but you have, been, have you done that very much? I mean, uh, that was the first time I've really done it in a game situation. Did you do it Saturday? I didn't even know. Yeah, I did it Saturday. What did you learn from that experience? You have to you fire out and protect no. the A gap. Yeah. You have to protect the A yeah. gap because A gap's the shortest way to block the kick. So <laughs> said, huh? Pretty basic. <laughs> yeah. Justin, I mean, obviously you and Zach are different sizes, but I mean, do you think in another world, would you be a good fullback? Would he be a good offensive lineman, or is there something about... I mean, he's probably too small to be an offensive yeah. lineman. My dad was joking around with him, and when he's up in the stands, Zach looks like a midget it's, uh, next to Mike Adams and reading him. So I don't know if Zach could play offensive line, maybe in high school. But in full, me, a fullback, I don't know, I'll take, I think we're, I think we're good at the you're positions we're at. Right yeah. spots. Okay. Have you ever carried the ball? Um, if so, when's the last time? No, I don't think I've ever carried the ball. I we had, I had a package when I was in high school that I was a fullback, the lead blocking fullback. But I I tried talking him into giving me the ball, and I wouldn't do it.